What up folks, it's Alex here and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Now in last week's video, you can click up here if you missed it, I showed you how to record some voiceover directly in DaVinci Resolve using the ADR function. And in this video, we're continuing the audio theme because I'm going to show you how to apply audio effects to your audio directly on the timeline. So let's boot up DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how. So here we are folks, we're in DaVinci Resolve and as you can see, we're on the edit tab. Now I've set up a real simple project here with an audio one track and then some voiceover. Now you can either do this directly in the edit tab, which is where I like to do it because I spend most of my time in the edit tab, so it's a bit quicker and easier. Or you can do exactly the same thing within the Fairlight tab. So I'm going to stick to the edit tab for now and I'll show you in here. Now the first thing you need to do is head up to the top left hand corner where it says effects library and give that a click and the effects library should open. Now from this leftmost menu where you've got toolbox open effects, you should also see audio effects. So if we give that a click and then you've got a bunch of different audio effects which you can apply to the audio on your timeline. Now I'm not going to go through all of these, but I am going to show you a couple of the ones that I like to use. The first one being this one here, the dialogue processor. It's a really handy one for cleaning up any voiceovers. So to apply the effect, all we need to do is click and drag. So I'm going to click on this dialogue processor and then drag it onto my timeline. And then I can either release it onto one of these specific files and it will just apply that audio effect to that particular clip or section. Or if this audio one track is all for voiceovers and I want to apply this audio effect to everything within that track, I can actually just drop it onto here where it says audio one, which is what I'm going to do now. Now, as soon as you've let go of your, your mouse, you should get a window like this appear. Now, every single one of these different effects has different options which you can change. So this is the dialogue processor window, and these are all the different knobs and dials which you can change. Now, a lot of these don't mean a huge amount to me. I'm not an audio wizard, but fortunately, they nearly always come with some different templates to get you started. So this is the default one here, as you can see. But if we click on the drop down, We've got two templates, one for male voiceover and another for female voiceover. So I'm just going to apply the male voiceover now and that will apply that template. Now we can still change anything if we want to. We can mess with these, da, da, da. make any changes you want to. If you want to hear any of the changes we've made, what you can do is just drag this window sort of out of the way a little bit, then head down onto your timeline and I can just hit play. What up folks, it's Alex here and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. And you'll be hearing that audio with this audio effect applied. So you can mess with the dials and then hear the effect live. So I'm gonna apply the male voiceover, reset the, that to default, gonna keep that applied and then I'm just gonna click on the X to close the window. Now, what you can also do here is in the top right hand corner, you've got the inspector. So if you give that a click, you get the inspector open on the right hand side. Now, if you click on one of the individual clips, if you've applied an audio effect to that clip, it will appear in the inspector here. But we applied the audio effect to the actual track itself. So if I just click on audio one here, it'll open the inspector for that audio track and I can see the dialogue processor in there as well as all those different options. I can turn it on or off, or I can just bin it to get rid of it completely. Now distortion is another fun one. So I'm just going to grab distortion and I'm just going to add it to this clip here. And the distortion options window will appear. Again, I'm not going to mess with these too much. I'm just going to go to the templates. I'm going to turn on megaphone. And then I'm going to close that window. So now if we listen to that again, it's Alex here and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Now you can hear that audio effect being applied. And again, if I select that clip on my timeline, in the inspector, I can see distortion. I can see all the settings. I can turn it on or off and I can delete it again. The last one I'll show you, pitch, another fun one. Drag that one, drop it on there. And this one doesn't have any templates. It only has the default, but it's a nice easy one. You've got semitones here. If you turn them into a positive number, you get a high pitched voice like so. What up folks, it's Alex here. I'm Whereas if you go to a negative number, you get a deep voice like this. What up, folks? It's Alex here, and welcome to Fun. You can really improve your audio with things like the dialogue processor, vocal channel, as well as the noise reduction. 
or you can have a lot of fun with the pitch, reverb, echo, distortion, and all those sorts of things. So have a play. And that's it, easy as that. It's both incredibly useful and loads of fun. If it was useful for you, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any feedback, pop them down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more DaVinci Resolve videos. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Bye.